Okay there, hello person. Today we're gonna be working on the inventory menu. First thing, check this out. Look at this, here's a screenshot I took of the inventory menu. Look, whoa, 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 what's going on here? Look at this, we've selected this piece of armor here and this detail pop-up is completely covering the character, is halfway covering the character. Oh, the, the inhumanity, the indignity. It's downright wrong. We're gonna be fixing that right now. Let's do this, start off with the, uh, um, okay, so we've got this thing that shows, I think it's called animate inventory item. Animate inventory item, there it is. Okay, check it out. Here's my genius way of checking that I'm doing the right thing before I spend too long on something. I'm just gonna put this return save at the beginning of this function so that i can see for sure that when i go ahead and comment that out or basically just yeah make this entire method ineffectual i'll see what this method is doing for sure guaranteed you can bet your bottom dollar this is gonna work yeah no that's not the one see i'm glad i did that so we it's the animate that actually animates the inventory item but we're looking at the the other word detail no yo sushi gamers wow 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 to you too how are you doing my friend okay how about we just search for everything that uses this yeah i'm glad i'm glad to hear that all is the same here too okay so this is the method setup inventory menu is there oh that's it animate forge item i think this is the method easy to get confused animate forge item animate inventory item what's the difference i hope this is it hold on let's see selling text lines yeah this is the one where it gets all these text lines and makes a sound and got that detailed bobble yeah look at that okay we've done it we found the method now we have no more details for any of these items which is just confirmed that we're using the right method we're using the right function we're in the right place so what i want to do first thing we've got this uh, detail pop-up that comes up and right now it just appears underneath whatever the current selection is what i'd like to do is try and move it to either the bottom of the window like always in this bottom right corner or if your selection is in the bottom right maybe this pop-up appears in the top right so it's always covering up whatever your inventory is and not covering up your character let's see what that looks like if th that feels right when it's in in here in the game so there's some place where it does an overall position it's here base Back three base size scale times a half gallery is scroll yeah that's the right thing but that's not actually moving it yeah that is one thought sushi that's one way to do it right and so there's always a place which is like the detailed panel like maybe it's down here in the bottom right thought about doing that and the reason I'm going to try this first is that that changes the way you scroll this whole menu. So we would have to make this so that would basically just get rid of eight different item slots, right? So we would have to think about whether we want this 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 inventory to scroll or whether we're actually taking away eight items from the player's inventory. This way it allows everything to just stay the same and just moves this window depending on where your cursor is, but it's always covering up this section. So I want to try this first, and if that doesn't work, if it doesn't feel right, then we'll go to that, where we actually have a dedicated area where it always is, but then we have to really think about how we're changing the actual inventory itself, the capacity of it. So, good point. There's got to be a place where it actually moves this position, the, b the base. Okay, well, what if base is just zero? This doesn't make sense to me yet, because M dot size scaled is just the size of the window. So we're always setting base to be something... Oh, I guess it depends on what's what it's the child of. Ah, uh, that might be it. Hmm. Yeah, so it is moving it. Hmm. Okay, base is like an offset, essentially. I, it must be that it's a child of something. So the background is a child of the parent. Parent. Oh, there we go. Parent set position. Oh, we create an... There it is. Okay, so we're creating a node that holds everything else, and then that is starting at the choice pause. So what we want is for this to always be, like, what if we get rid of this choice pause entirely? That's kind of what I was thinking. Unless we have a, like, a lot of things in our inventory, we actually do need to have our whole inventory and just be full at this point. Okay, so we'll get our inventory full, and we want to adjust the position of that up at least eight pixels, and we need to check this for all resolutions, and then we need to see how it feels with a bunch of items. Okay, so let's get our inventory just full of stuff. Now let's adjust that position and then we also need to move it all the way to the top if we are if our choice is halfway down. I think that means if choice dot pause dot y is less than zero, then we would want to do p dot y plus equals m size scale dot y 
eight times zero point i'm not sure let's, let's try 3.5 otherwise we want to move it up by something like eight pixels or so okay we got it slightly adjusted we have it working if it is the cursor is too low and then we have a whole bunch of things in the inventory let's see what this looks okay so i moved it way too far and then the cutoff needs to be a little no nah, actually the cutoff's pretty good we just need to move it less when it's too low like that so how's this feeling I'm trying to feel this out like i've got this detail pop up appearing in the bottom right instead of being right under the knee under the cursor and it feels actually fine to me there's nothing wrong with it being like this so i'm liking how this is working this is pretty cool i'm gonna commit to this so we want this to be a lot less than a side scale times 0.35 it's more like i don't know maybe one five and then we've also got a few items that are here it is it was where it reduces the height per the height per line depending on how many lines there are okay so a little bit less there change that to 0.10 and then we've got a few things that have so many lines that you can't even see what's going on like here this cloak right here narrow cloak of the energetic it has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve ten fourteen lines so we need to like at some point we need to completely like just stop showing lines at some point so we should have like a max visible lines and then an absolute max and we can show what the current the current number of lines is that'll help us debug this so if desk dot size is greater than or equal no it's greater than abs max visible lines then desk we're gonna erase everything after a certain point maybe this would be 13 something like that desk dot erase desk dot begin plus abs max visible lines and then desk dot end okay if we got those things right all right cool i'm really liking this whole solution it feels totally fine and this way we don't have to modify the the player's actual inventory i think the player's inventory has something like 16 items in it max and that seems like a good thing right now players have not complained about that in, in any of the beta players haven't really even commented on it but you can fill up your inventory and then you can actually drop items so it is possible to get to the fill up your inventory and no one has complained about that yet so i think we're on a good track here so that one's 11 oh that one's only 12. this one has its this one is really crunched up that one's 14 long rare sort of freezing 14. this one's only 12 but it doesn't seem as crunched up why is that it's not it's not actually uh oh gosh so let's review what we did on today's stream whoops we messed something up there with the amount system. So item escalation min. Oh, look, probably that. That's 0 to 5.0. You're never going to get a this tier of item. So see if that's what, we, what it'll take. Okay, so the first thing we did is we made it so the item detail pop-up always appears in the bottom right of the screen unless you're here it, your cursor is at the bottom right and then it puts it in the top right so that the item detail pop-up is never covering the player's character so this is a really cool thing because now whenever you're in the inventory you can always see how your player looks because when you change to a different piece of armor it changes what you look like it changes like when i click on this axe right here or when I select the axe, it puts the axe in the character's hand and you can see what it's going to look like. Same thing with this helmet here. So you always want to see your character. So now you do. You've always got this item detail pop up that's a that's not covering your character up. Also, we made it so the lines of text are all fit in with all fit into the detail pop up, even if they have a lot of lines that almost goes off the end but not quite so oh, that's really good we got you can always see your character and the text looks better and then also we started making it so things cost more money depending on their tier so these items they used to cost like the maximum cost of a sword used to be 1600 but as you start to play this game and you get you start to get a lot more gold at the end when you start really kicking ass in this game and your character's really powered up, you can have a lot of gold and that's that's kind of out of balance. We need to kind of balance how much things cost to match kind of what the the difficulty level is for your player. So we increased the difficult increased the cost of certain weapons and armor pieces depending on the tier so before it had no calculation based on the tier this is a tier 13 cloak right here so it 
multiplies the cost of the cloak by 13 times also an overall escalation factor. So basically just items get more expensive as they go up in tier. But next we're gonna make it so that it also increases the cost of, or it increases what kind of what kind of actual item you you find depending on your overall escalation factor as a player so if you're a higher level player you're going to see more magical items and you might even see a rare item here in this armory but if you're a, a beginner player you're only going to see all normal items no magical items so that's something i still have left to do and then the other thing we did on today's stream was we made it so that when you go and you activate a checkpoint that's inside the inside the dungeons you would find a checkpoint you would activate it those cost more money depending on how what your how powered up your character is so that's also evening things out and making it so things cost more when you're at a higher level so things just sort of naturally progress as you progress in your level things start costing more it's just like every other video game that's ever been made that's it's always how it's been done so that's just something you kind of have to balance and that's what today's stream was about, sort of applying that balance to Wraithbinder. So, yeah, thanks a lot for watching today's stream. Next week, we'll be back working on more, probably more multiplayer things. We'll see. Yeah, that's it. We'll see you guys again next Wednesday. Later. Later.